is a commercial peel and coring machine designed 1909. Back in those days, it would have been fully automated, belt driven on this wheel here. My wooden handle was not used in operation. Processing plant, you're looking at 10, 12, 15 machines all lined up in a row. Big steam engine in the back, ran them all through the organization. side of the machine reaches down, loads on up the next apple on the machine, does the rest for us, peel the core. It's not a perfect job, normally we're looking about 90-95% efficiency that is consistent all day long. The operational speed would have been just a little quicker than the first one I did, 30 apples a minute is what the machine could do. That looks a bit more like this. And still not a bad effort. Now from here the apples would then roll down a small chute. The young lady sitting on a stool with a bearing knife. She trims off any bits of peel and core that the machine missed out on. Also any bruising. And away we go for processing. Now the very, very earliest days, uh, the number one industry would have been dried apples. It was a huge industry here in Tassie. Uh, dates back commercially all the way to 1890. That industry was initially developed here in the Cuban Valley. Here you go, here it says, John and Gold is the apple today. Uh, you should find it quite tasty, you're very welcome. Uh, also back in the old days, you would have had the can for tinned apple industry as well, which would have used the same machines. Uh, both those industries were moving along quite nicely around the turn of the century. This little guy here revolutionized both those industries completely. And just to give us an idea of the uh, extent of the industry back then, I'll do a little basic mathematics here for us. 30 apples a minute is what the machine could do. Now, if the operator worked simply an eight-hour day, works out to be 14,400 apples per day for each machine. Times 10, 12, do you want me to hold it here until you're done? That's right. Uh, there you go. I'm waiting for you to be done. Ah, uh, man, I never finish. Uh, 10, 12, 15 machines in a shop takes you up to about half a million apples. They did that every day for four months out of the year, and there were at least five or six separate drying factories alone just here in the Oh, that's for drying, for dried apples. Just for the drying, huge industry. Mm.